<clears throat> We're starting our canning project. We'll be canning tomatoes today. The first thing that we do is we check our jars. We run our finger around them to make sure there's no cracks. First we look at them to make sure there's no cracks. Then we run our fingers around them. They pass that inspection. We put them in the dishwasher and fill it up with jars, top and bottom. You might have to tilt them a little bit to get them to fit. They're pretty tall. And then we close it up. These, all these jars are used jars. We've used them in years past. That's why we double check them. They're not brand new. And even if they are new, if there's any crack or any flaw in the jar, you do not want to use it in your canning. So make sure the jars are clean and crack and chip free. Step one. Our bottles are all clean now. And we know that none of them have cracks or chips. If they have a crack in them, they will likely break apart in your boiling water when you process them. If they have a chip in the lip of it, the seal won't be properly sealed. So you want your jars crack free, chip free, and clean and hot. The tomatoes have been sorted into sizes, the large ones, the medium ones, and the smaller ones. Because when we blanch them, they'll need different amount of time in the boiling water. So we're going to start blanching now. Here's our blanching pot. The water is boiling. We're going to drop the clean tomatoes. They don't have to be stemmed or cut or anything. We're going to drop them in the hot water. These big ones I'm going to do for one minute. Make sure it's a full boil and we are going to start dropping them in. Here they go into the hot boiling water. All the big guys. All right, I'm going to set my timer here at one minute. And then we'll get ready to plunge them into cold water. I'm going to fill the sink up with cold water. I've already cleaned it. They're ready to be filled up with cold water because those hot tomatoes are going to come right in here. This blanching process will split the skin so they slip off nicely. And just wait for one minute. Some of them are already, if they start splitting already, I take them out. And these are already starting to split. So when I see that the skin is splitting, I take them out. Those happen to be heirloom tomatoes, and they have a more delicate skin. So I'm watching for them. Just checking on them. These are gonna go right into the cold water. They can stay in the cold water for a long time, but you don't want them in here for more than a minute. See the skin's pulling off of that one? We put them in the cold water and we stop that process. We don't want them really cooked. This is the blanching process. There they are, they're cooling down in the cold water. Our jars are nice and hot. I always like to use wide mouth jars if possible. Both work, but it's just easier to put the tomatoes in the wide mouth. 
So I'm going to get another batch. As soon as this boils again, I'm going to put another batch in and fill up this sink so that I have a lot of tomatoes, enough for a whole batch for the canner. So I'm going to start um, filling it up with tomatoes. Here comes the medium ones. Not quite boiling. I'm just going to give it a second. You can pause it if you want. 